And this is the way that I would think of arranging my horse to back. Now, the presentation, it, it could be, I have different ways we could back a horse. There'd be nothing wrong if you needed to get right on your horse's halter rope, you could. That'd be all right. Or if you needed to be sort of a middle range like this, that'd be okay. Or some people, they might wiggle their rope. They might do this. That might be okay. Just stand tall. But what I want you to think about is this. This is the order of operation we need to have. Number one, prepare to position. And that's me getting ready, me getting straight, visualizing what we want to have happen. So prepare to position. Bring the life up. Release the feet. Now, it's a it took me a little, there you go. It took me a little bit of work, but we're going to get better at it. But think about it. Prepare to position. Get yours straight. Get yourself ready. Get in position. Prepare to position. Get the life up. Release the feet. Release the movement. Yeah, and, leading I'm sorry. and leading forward is the same. Prepare to position. That's me. Get ready, Jack. Get, re get the horse ready. Prepare to position. I get active. I bring his life up. The feet come. Always in that order. All right? Lead him, halt, and back. And I want you to think about that order of operation, how that works. What's that life doing? Are they active when you need them to be active? When you halt, do they bring their life down so they need to stop it, maybe relax a little bit? How slow could you walk them? Walk them so slow and then the horse will ask you a question. You'll go so slow, your horse, your horse will look at you and ask you a question. Your horse will say, can I halt? Well, if you were to stop your feet, yes, they could halt. But if you were to continue moving, they should keep moving. But there, like Nancy's horse is asking a question. See that? He's looking at her and he's going, can I halt? Or what? She go, he goes, do you want me to go this slow? Now walk faster. Now everybody walk faster. And the life comes up. I'm going to stand tall, active, Legs are moving, I'm coming up, moving them, getting his life up, bringing them back. Maybe I'm going to get a little firm if he starts to get, kind of creep up on me. Ready? Watch this. Bring my life up, bring my life back, turn to halt, and then see how long it takes for him to settle. Work their emotions. We, I always say we exercise their emotions just like we exercise their mind and their body. Now, a lot of people at first, they go, I don't get what that means. Well, we've got three days to work on that. But think about the emotional scale of your horse. What are they at? If they're at a, a 20, bring them up to a 30, back down to a 20. The horses that creep up, what that is, is when they're unclear of a, what a halt is. And you might say, well, no, no, the problem isn't halting. He stands fine. <laughs> You'd say, the problem is when I lead him with energy, he creeps up. Don't be a creep, right? Uh, your horse. Don't be a creep, horse. So, but what about this? If I could always fall back to a halt at any time, if my horse creeps up and I could halt, he couldn't creep up. Now, there's another part to this Think about something. Where do people, we all are guilty of this, where do people let their horses relax and settle? Well, when they're here. You know, we, I love my horse. You know, so, so what happens is, horses learn when they're far away from the human, they work. You know, so when he's further away, what is he doing? He's working, right? And I know you all work on circling and lunging. And then think about it. He's working, so then I bring them in close and I let them settle close. So what does he learn? Settle in close. Right? You have to have a balance to that. Feel, timing, balance. What's the balance to that? I'll tell you. Super simple. If you were to work your horse... And, and you're happy with them. I'm happy with them. Good enough for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back them and then we're going to settle. I'm going I'm to gain real estate. Now I'm going to get in here a little bit and get, get a little more movement out of them. But what I did is I said, if you back up and give me space, yeah, I'll let you settle back there. 
Get it? It's your balance. So you don't always want to bring them in close. You don't always want to back them. You want to do both. Now, if it were, it could be any movement we could work on this. The idea is, even in hand, check this out. If I'm doing direct pressure, backing, if I back him up and I keep moving my feet with him, I never give him, he never learns to give me room. But if he backs up real nice and then I stop my feet, see that but he gains space. So you've got to get that established. All right? All right, now, I'll show you a really good one. This will be for you. This will help you a lot. If his feet are fairly square and I watch his head and neck, I can see how he's positioned and balanced. But what I'll do is I'll practice. It's my job to help him understand. I want to convey a clear intention, a clear goal, a clear idea. My goal is he stays put. I want to back away from him. I'm going to keep his head up. Now see right there? See what I did? He almost walked forward, didn't he? So I redirected. I said, oh, don't walk. Don't get your head down. Keep your head up. So I'm going to practice backing up. I'm going to practice approaching. And he's looking at me a little bit because I just got firm with him. So he's like, uh-oh, Jack's coming. But I'm going, to ba- I'm going to back up and I'm going to come to the side. Now, if I need to pick up on that rope and direct him, I will. But the idea is, is I'm keeping him in place. I'm backing away from him. All right? And I want to get really good at this. And then maybe I'd come to this side. Oop, now here... I'm not being clear to him. I'm not, that's my fault for not being clear. I came a little quick. That's my fault. But I'm going to reestablish this. Now, if I can establish a halt, this is so cool. When you're further away from the horse, see how far away I am? Now, he, he knows what I'm about to do here. But see how far away I am? Now, lead your horse. Then don't go far. And then stop your horse. In other words, halt, give them space. You got what I'm saying now? And uh, and so now you train your horse to lead at varying distances because they need to be just as good leading back there. 